Did you know that 50% of businesses fail by their fifth year? That's a scary statistic for any entrepreneur. What's even more concerning is that 82% of those failed businesses say it is because of cash flow. But what the heck is cash flow? Cash flow for a business is critical to keeping your business going, paying your employees on time, and making sure you have your product available when your customer needs it. Understanding cash flow is critical to a business's success. Here is a simplistic way to view cash flow money in and money out. The most complex element is managing the time between. Over the next few minutes, I will walk you through six easy steps to better manage your business's cash flow. Think of a financial forecast as a roadmap for your business's money. Without it, you're driving blindfolded. A forecast helps you predict how much money you'll have coming in and going out, so you can make informed decisions about spending, hiring, and growth. Now, creating a forecast might sound daunting, but it doesn't have to be. Start by setting a revenue goal for the year. Then break that goal down into monthly targets. Next, factor in your known costs, such as rent, utilities, and inventory. This will give you a clear picture of your projected cash flow each month. Remember, this is just a starting point. As you track your actual cash flow, you can adjust your forecast to reflect any changes in your business or the market. Now let's talk about stress testing your forecast. Imagine this, you've just launched a fantastic new product and sales are through the roof. But what if a sudden economic downturn causes those sales to plummet? That's where stress testing comes in. By applying different scenarios to your forecast, such as good and bad business conditions, you can understand the potential impact on your cash flow and make necessary adjustments. For example, if your forecast shows a cash crunch during a slow month, you can proactively explore options like reducing expenses or securing a line of credit. Remember, a little stress testing can go a long way in ensuring your business is prepared for whatever comes its way. You've created your forecast and stress tested it. Now, it's time to put it to the test in the real world. Regularly measuring your actual performance against your forecast is crucial for staying on track and identifying any potential issues early on. Start by comparing your actual income and expenses to your projected figures each month. If you notice any significant discrepancies, it's essential to understand why. For instance, are your sales lower than expected? Are your expenses higher? Once you've identified the root cause, you can adjust your strategies or your forecast accordingly. In the world of business, cash is king, but credit is its trusted advisor. It's not just about how much money you have in the bank, it's also about your access to credit lines, loans, and other forms of financing. Start by tracking your total access to cash and credit each month. This includes your bank balances, credit card limits, and any available lines of credit. Compare this figure to your forecast to see if you have enough liquidity to cover your projected expenses. If you anticipate a cash shortfall, it's crucial to take action early on. This might involve adjusting your spending, seeking additional financing, or negotiating better payment terms with suppliers. In the world of business, pricing can be a delicate dance. You want to set your prices high enough to ensure profitability, but low enough to attract customers. But how do you find that sweet spot? The answer lies in understanding your unit cost. Your unit cost is the total expense incurred to produce, store, and sell one unit of your product or service. This includes direct costs like materials and labor, as well as indirect costs such as marketing and overhead. Calculating your unit cost might seem tedious, but it's crucial for making informed pricing decisions. If you're not covering all your costs, you could be selling yourself short. Once you know your unit cost, you can determine your markup and set your prices accordingly. Imagine this, you've made a sale, but the cash isn't in your account yet. Meanwhile, you have bills to pay and inventory to purchase. This gap between paying for expenses and receiving payment from customers is called the cash conversion cycle. The shorter your cash conversion cycle, the faster you can reinvest your profits and grow your business. So how can you improve it? One effective strategy is to get paid before you even start production. This could involve requiring upfront payments or deposits from customers, especially for large orders or custom projects. You can also explore options like invoice financing or factoring to unlock the cash tied up in outstanding invoices. 
taking on one of these 30 to 60 minutes activities each week can set your business up for success, allowing you to know how your business is performing and knowing when you might need to make adjustments. If this still sounds like a daunting task or you are looking to take your financial management to the next level for your business, we are here to help. For additional help with your business needs, please visit us at sba.gov.